Hey, hey all there and welcome to this Enlightened Video Elite tutorial. In this really quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you the new way on how to fade music. There's been quite a few updates recently and, um, and somebody was asking me how, or mentioning on one of my old videos when you had to keyframe the sound to um, fade it in and fade it out. They just mentioned that, um, that yeah, it, it didn't work anymore. So I'm going to show you the new way. It's been around for quite a while, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So let's go over to N N Lloyds. I suppose what this will show you as well is how to add some stock footage and, and stock music as well. So um, I selected, let me just show you there. I just clicked the plus button to add something new at the bottom. Instead of recent, where it would take me to my own camera roll, I've got this stock highlighted on the right hand side. And then what you can do is you can choose um, the Getty images, the, the Pixabay video leap or purchased type of, um, of stock footage here. Just remember it does mention in the top right hand corner. Let me just zoom in on this to just to show you just um, just in case. Look on this this top part of the video, it just mentions that um, that they are they are premium um pieces of footage so these top ones are free um, that is copyright free but anything that's got premium next to it this is another question I've been asked having asked quite um, quite a lot recently is with the music and the footage can I use it in my own projects if it says premium on it no you can't um, you need um, either to pay for it or you need permission to use it so let's go back to the main view I'm just going to select this um, this clip over here um, it'll quickly download and then right away if you click play you've got that video clip so then what I'm going to do I want to add some stock music to it so down the bottom I've got the audio um, in the center so I'm just going to click the audio and then I'm going to click music and then it sort of defaults to the stock music as well you see down the bottom you either have the artists so if it was your own music you would then go into your files your artists your albums or your songs um, or your um, or your stock music there I've got stock music you can preview the stock music just by clicking the little play button and it will start to play for you and then you pause it and you can just just preview that music or you can select the um, the the music and it will add it to the, um, the stock footage for you so now what I want to happen with this video and the um, let's go music first I've got the music selected. Look, if I didn't have the music selected, I had the video selected, or I had nothing selected, nothing would be highlighted. So whatever you've got selected as a white highlight frame around it, okay, just to annotate that you've got it selected. Now, all I do is select with the music selected, select this fade button, really simple. I want it to fade in, obviously. And now I just use the slider and change the duration of how long I want it to fade over. Um, and you have from zero up to five seconds in order to fade the music. So if I just choose three seconds duration, three and a half seconds duration, click play, that music will fade in over that duration. So I know there is a three and a half second duration. If I want the video to um, fade in over the same duration, I select the video, but this time I select opacity, drag the opacity down to zero with the um, video clip at the start. Click the little, let me zoom in for this, um, just to show you this down here, this little um, keyframe button down here. Um, this little diamond in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm just gonna select that. So you notice it changes to a minus and on my main, um, my main timeline right over here, it, um, it puts a diamond for me. So I'm just gonna slide across up to three and a half seconds. When I get to three and a half seconds, roughly, I'm gonna drag the opacity. So while I'm dragging this little, um, this little opacity slider here, this little one here, um, what I want you to do is just, let me zoom out a little bit just so you can see this. I want you to watch the, um, the little diamond in the bottom um, left hand corner, sorry, bottom right hand corner, and it will um, it will create a keyframe for me. See, so it changes to a minus, and in the timeline I get this keyframe selected for me. So now if I play through that, um, go back to the start and I play through that, 
the video and the music fading nicely together. And likewise, if you wanted to do the fade out, you would just reverse that, but you would do it at the end. So you would hope this video has helped you out. It's really simple. Um, take care and I'll, um, I'll catch you all soon.